Hello, uh, this is Esme. I'm on the product management team at Coveo, and I uh, want to give you a kind of a walkthrough of a demo that shows how Coveo can really offer end-to-end uh, -end personalization in service. Um, so in order to do that, we have uh, prepared a demo that's focused around um, a company called Speedbit. Uh, so Speedbit uh, sells fitness wearables, so fitness devices and equipment. And uh, along with those devices, uh, they do offer uh, an app that comes with each device and uh, a community where customers can go to self-serve. Okay, um, so that's kind of for context. And then uh, the first part of our demo is going to be through the eyes of Susan. So Susan is a new customer who's just bought a new device. Um, and then the second part of the demo will be through the eyes of Sabrina. And Sabrina is a customer service agent. All right, so let's hop into the demo. All right, so this is the Speedbit app that I just mentioned. So this comes along with any uh, fitness device that you buy from Speedbit. Um, so users, so actually Susan has access to a ton of functionality related to her new device uh, right here. And Coveo is going to come and complement that. Uh, so uh, see this orange button down here? Um, let's pop that open and we'll take a look. Um, so this is what we call a Coveo in-product experience. Uh, so this is what a lot of our customers use to power their in-app help experience um, yeah, in various places. Um, so what's great about this is that it's going to allow users to find help and support information without having to leave their app. So it's really good for keeping users engaged and ensuring smooth, uh, a smooth customer experience for them. So what Susan will notice when she pops this open uh, right away is, is rich, tailored content recommendations just for her. So because she's a new customer, she might find uh, a getting started guide or um, a link to a helpful video or, or a blog post. Um, so, so that's interesting. Um, after that, above these, rec these initial recommendations, there is a search bar. So if Susan wants to look for a more precise piece of content, she could do that there. Um, so, so maybe Susan wants to know, you know, one of the first things she wants to know is how to pair her new device with her mobile phone. Um, so she could search for that. She starts typing pair. Uh, she wants to type pair my phone. And uh, what's happening here is Coveo's machine learning is actually suggesting searches for Susan um, based on other searches that have been successful for other users. So that's going to help Susan find the content that she needs. Uh, so if you select this pair my phone suggestion, Coveo serves up uh, relevant search results for Susan um, right here. Uh, notice these recommended badges on the top results. Um, so those are to identify the results that have actually been boosted to the top of the list um, thanks to uh, machine learning. All right, um, so here, uh, this uh, how to pair your Speedbit Blaze with your iPhone um, article seems interesting for Susan, so she could actually decide to quick view this right here in the app, or she could follow the link to the Speedbit community. Um, so here, this is, uh, this is the knowledge article. It's surfaced in a Salesforce Lightning community here. Uh, before getting into what Coveo can, uh, can do here, I'm just going to pop open this little demo widget that we've set up. Um, that's going to allow us to see kind of what's happening this, behind the scenes. So this gives us an idea of the sort of signals that Coveo can pick up on to make sure we're recommending the right content to the right user. So uh, what we see here, uh, so we can know a little bit about Susan. She's not logged in right now, but we do know uh, we can pull some data from the browser she's using. So we can know what language she prefers, you know, her approximate location, things like that. Uh, Coveo is also tracking all of her activity on the community. So this is um, populated a little bit here. That's assuming that Susan has already been on the community, but uh, we are going to track what she searches for, um, the pages that she decides to view, what silt, uh, filters she selects, um, things like that. And Coveo is going to use that to group Susan into topics of interest and use that to personalize her experience um, live as her visit uh, evolves, okay? So uh, this is uh, obviously, you know, a visualization of what's happening behind the scenes. But what we have to understand here is this is all the kinds of, you know, data points that Coveo's machine learning can use to personalize uh, the community experience here. So if we close that, um, so knowing that here in this case, Coveo is able to recommend 
uh, some videos to Susan, um, some searches, some keywords to search for, and some community posts. So these are coming from all sorts of different sources, and they're actually based on what typically interests users who view this same knowledge article, right? Um, also, it doesn't matter that this content is coming from, uh, you know, siloed systems behind the scenes. Uh, that's completely transparent to our user, Susan, at this point. She sees it all in one place. Now, if Susan heads back to the, well, heads to the Speedbit homepage here. Again, Kovea is going to be able to leverage her activity on the community, spanning maybe several sessions, uh, to recommend content specifically for her. All here. Now, um, of course, the more Coveo knows about our user, the better we can tailor the experience. So the homepage here is, is prompting uh, Susan to log in, uh, which she will do. And as an anonymous user, Coveo is able to uh, recommend content to Susan based on um, what other uh, users similar to, you, uh, to Susan like. Uh, but now that she's logged in, we can actually pull her contact record from Salesforce and truly know certain things about her. So I'm going to pop open this demo widget again. And we have this last section that uh, is now populated. Um, so we've pulled this from, um, from her Salesforce contact record. It could be another CRM uh, contact record. Um, and now we truly know certain things about Susan. So we can make more one-to-one -one personalized recommendations based on that. Uh, so we know that she owns a Speedbit Blaze. So that's the name of her product. Uh, so we can make recommendations specifically based on that. We know that she likes running some more content recommendations based on that. And we can do as many of those as we want. All right. Um, so now at this point, let's say Susan um, goes out for a run with her new device and she realizes uh, that there seems to be a problem with how it's tracking her heart rate. Um, so she's afraid that this is a flaw with her device and she wants to log a case to customer support. Um, so she would head to this page. And so here on the left is the Salesforce case creation component. And to complement it, here on the right is the Coveo case deflection panel. So this deflection panel is actually listening to the case fields here on the left and updating with results um, that should help solve uh, the issue without having to submit the case. So uh, watch carefully as we, as we fill this in. All right. So the results have updated, and even though we have a large block of text here in the, in the case description, which is typically uh, the case when we are describing an issue, Coveo's machine learning is actually pinpointing what keywords are most relevant here and using that to make the recommendations in the panel. All right, so um, ideally, normally, uh, Susan shouldn't have to submit this case because the, the results are right there on, on the right. Um, so if a user like Susan uh, starts creating a case like this, clicks on one of those results in the panel and then never submits their case, we could decide to track that as, or log that rather, as a successful case deflection in Coveo's analytics and track that over time. Uh, now, uh, in this case, let's assume that the content that matches Susan's specific issue uh, isn't available to her right now. So maybe uh, it hasn't, it's content that hasn't been created yet or it's just not part of, of public facing content. Uh, she, she might go ahead and submit this case. Um, and, in, and in which case that it would end up in the hands of a customer support agent. And that would be the end. And that is the end actually of uh, Susan's self-service experience. But little does she know that Covey is going to continue to make her experience great um, in the interactions that she's going to have with the agent picking up uh, her case on the other side of this. Um, so let's switch into the shoes of our second character. Uh, to see how Coveo really ties this whole journey to, together to offer end-to-end -end personalized experience. So uh, we're going to switch into the shoes of our customer service agent, Sabrina. Um, so Sabrina has just been assigned this case sent in by Susan regarding a problem, you know, tracking her heart rate. Uh, we're here in the Salesforce Lightning Service Console, and uh, the case details uh, are on the left, and the Coveo Insight panel is here on the right. And what Sabrina will notice is that without prompting, without doing anything at all, uh, the Coveo panel, uh, insight panel, is actually listening uh, 
uh, taking contextual information here from the case, so maybe the product owned by Susan and the description of this issue, to surface content that should help Sabrina solve this case faster. After that, uh, Coveo is also going to offer some insights um, on this content to Sabrina. So uh, first of all, we have this viewed by customer badge. So any document viewed by Susan previously uh, will be tagged this way. And if we open this user actions component, uh, Coveo actually provides Sabrina with a list of all the documents viewed by Susan, all of her searches, and then a full timeline of her activity on the community leading up to logging this case. So that's gonna give a lot more insight to Sabrina into what happened before this case was submitted, and it's gonna allow her to tailor how she's going to interact with, with Susan if necessary. All right, um, so uh, what's great is that really easily, so without prompting, without having to even to search for anything, Sabrina can find the piece of content uh, that should solve Susan's issue. She knows that she hasn't viewed this piece of content yet. Um, she could uh, put this content into action, so click this send as email button to start an email creation process with a link to this piece of content and uh, effectively solve this case. So she's able to do this, you know, all the while offering a tailored experience uh, for Susan, uh, which is what uh, Coveo brings to the table. And uh, with that, I hope I've managed to demonstrate how Coveo can really do that end-to-end -end personalized service, uh, in this case, inside Salesforce. Thanks for listening.